Shadow and I have come to one of my favorite places when I want to just get away. And I've made a couple of videos from this area, this very spot. It's called Gooseberry Mesa. And the views from the rims of the mesa are just spectacular. You've probably seen these before if you've watched any of my videos in the past. We loaded up the truck and came up last night to do some just chilling. I just wanted to kind of play around, experiment, different exposure lengths, different gain settings. You know, experiment, that's how you learn. But I did get three pretty decent images. I'll share them with you. Right out there is the Entrance Designs National Park. Beautiful, beautiful park. If you've never had a chance to come and explore Zions National Park, it is one of the most spectacular, beautiful parks in the country. That's Red Butte Mountain. At night, during this time of year, the Milky Way is right above it. And for those people that like to take still pictures of landscapes with the Milky Way overhead, this is a great place to come. It's amazing how time changes. You know, you can be in the city or in the hustle and bustle of life and the day just goes like that. But when you're out alone, uh, time changes. It just sort of slows down. Right, Shadow? Do you agree with that? I've had some viewers, friends, comment, uh, saying, hey, we worry about you. You know, what if something happened to you? And sometimes I'm out of cell coverage. I tell my family I'm not going to be out of cell coverage. But invariably, I get out of cell coverage. It's easy to do out here. So I broke down and got a satellite phone. It uses the Iridium network, and it is uh, for emergencies. So I can get access to a satellite from anywhere, pretty much anywhere on Earth. So I've got it covered, guys. I have a satellite phone now. But I'll show you what I was imaging with. This is the Orion quadruplet. A refracting telescope. That's a telescope that has a lens at the front and it bends the light towards the back. It has an inherent flaw. It's called chromatic aberration. Just like when you shine a light through a prism and it breaks out the various colors because they have different uh, wavelengths. That happens a little bit with refracting telescopes and you get a little bit of distortion in the colors of the image. So to correct for that there are four lenses and so the four lenses work to focus and refract and bring the light together so that all the colors are in sync when they hit the eyepiece in the back or in this case a camera. The camera goes right there. I've taken the camera off and put it away. So this is what we used to image last night. One thing I did want to mention is that this is a Bortel 1 to Bortel 2 location. And that makes a big difference. I have learned that when you get into a Bortel 1, Bortel 2 location, uh, your exposure time can be dramatically lower and uh, capture a spectacular image. So uh, even though I didn't spend a lot of time on these targets and I didn't come here to try to maximize the exposure time and get the ideal image, but these turned out pretty good, I think.